Welcome back to Married with the Scott. I'm Nayeli. I'm Monty. Do you ever wonder what it takes to have a successful marriage? If you do, stay tuned. We've only been married, so let's start with that disclosure. We're now experts. We're just only talking about what works for us and you know what's been working, what's not been working, basically. So. We've been married five years. When did we get married? We got married on um, May 27, 2013. Right, so five years. And then we have two kids, like I said, Eli Russell, two and three, basically. Um, Russell turned. Two. So yeah, man, so not experts, but we have, we have a pretty successful marriage. Yeah. Right. So what, what do you think some of the key things to having a successful marriage? Well, number one, obviously, is Happy wife, happy life. What? Happy. Okay, what makes a happy wife? Um, that we work together, that we communicate. Communicate is huge. Communication. Communication. So spending. communication would be number one? Would well, you yeah. put that number one? Yeah, communication. communication. Okay, I think I'll put that number one too. Communication. Number two is spending quality time together. Right. And then number three, which I'm still, I'm not, I'm weak in this area. Everyone likes to be loved differently. You can't love, like how she loves me, I can't love her the same way. Um, five love languages, I forget the author's name, I'll put his link in this video, but her love language is, um, was it touch? Affection? Uh, or, yeah, affection and quality time. Quality time. F2. So you love your spouse the way they like to be loved. Read the book. That's a great book. I read it. It'll basically explain that everybody desires something differently in the love aspect. So and yours think, is words of affirmation. That's one of them. I think words of affirmation and then... Um, physical touch. Yeah! Physical touch, you feel me? <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be physical touch like that, but just... Yeah, that's, that's another, in the morning. That's another video, man. But yeah, but you figure out how what your spouse or what your other one, how they like to be loved, and then really just concentrate on that. So we got communication, quality time, figuring out what's your spouse, you know, what their love like, what their love language is. So figuring out what their love language is. So we need we need at least five to make this a really effective. So four. Oh. Well, um, number one actually should be like praying together. We should I, pray together every single day. Number one, God has to be first. Yeah. Then number two would be communication. Right. Then number three would be quality time. And then number four it would be compromise. You mm -hmm. have to be willing to compromise, um, sacrifice for the greater good of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you get married, it's no longer individuals, is one. So you do work as one. So to do that, you work as one and you're two, you gotta compromise. That's right. the only way it's gonna work. So we got we got one more, man. Give the people one more, get one more. For a successful marriage. Yeah, we got four. We got communication, we got quality. Surprises. Time. What? Oh, that, wait, I got the order out of line. We got God first. <laughs> communication. What was number three? Uh quality time. Quality time. Four, compromise. Five says surprises. What? Which is great. That's not now that is a love language. That's uh, not like I'm not talking about um gifts. Well, I would say I wouldn't put it number five because it depends what that person's love language is. Oh right. Like if the love like love language is gifts, then yeah, but I wouldn't put it. Five. So so get to get to learn your your spouse. Like okay. you're constantly growing, you're constantly changing so that you have to that's always going to be a constant thing, change, right? So, always be in touch. So, with evolve with the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what, how would you put a title now? Evolve in your relationship mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. just know your partner? Know your partner. Know your partner. Mm -hmm. Continue to know them because they, they change. Mm -hmm. She changes. Well, I'm telling you. For the but better. Yeah, for the, uh, yeah, for the better. So, yeah, we got number one. Keep God first. Two, communication. Three, quality time. Four, compromise. Five, know your mate. You gotta know your spouse, know your husband, know your wife. Constantly know them. Don't think you knew them. You gotta know them daily because they're changing daily. Because we're changing daily. Right. That's all we got, man. You got any comments, leave a comment below. I'm 
make sure and you like the video. And your own suggestions for a successful marriage. Right, and your own suggestions, of course. Um, any video topics you want us to cover. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, we're a new channel, so we're trying to... We're not doing this to get fame or nothing. We're just doing it because we... Something we felt left to do. Um, couples have asked us questions in the past, so it was like, you might as well just do. Um, put it out like this. But yeah, so like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified and look out for your next video. Remember, God, family, or everything. We out.